it's an easy vis visualization. So we did 360 divided by 9 because mm -hmm. that's all of the votes. Right, because we had 9 votes. And then we got like 40. 40 degrees. So then I'm just trying to visualize in my head, okay, about 40 degrees here, about 40 degrees here, about 40 degrees here, and then the rest of it is okay. another color. I do not, I'm not going to look at your graph and be like, that looks more like 50 degrees, not 40 degrees. But if it's supposed to be about 40 degrees or a quarter of the circle and you filled in like half the circle, that's wrong, you know. So just approximately right. Okay, jump into the next one. A Pareto chart. A Pareto chart is a very easy. Um, a Pareto chart looks like a bar graph. Um, and it's basically, um, this is for qualitative, I'm going to write it down here. This is usually for qualitative data. Hmm. So let's get some qualitative data on us. Um, Hmm. Okay. Um, what is your favorite type of pet? Okay. This could be, well, I'm not going to give any suggestions to you. Any kind of animal. I don't want, I don't need a specific type of dog or something. If you want to say dog, you can just say dog. Caitlin? Favorite type of pet? Dog? Brennan? Here? No. Oh, I can be creative. Okay. Glad we have that in there. Just, you're going to go with cat? Natalie? Thomas? Bird. You liar. Mason? Fish. Notice how I agreed with you. I assume sloth was your favorite. Rihanna? Dog. You think sloth is what? I like sloth. I like sloths too. But I think they'd uh, like claw the, like it'd be too bad. You'd be like, I want to hold you. And they'd be like, I'll hold you back. And you'd be like, ah, nope, stop, stop holding me. Oh, you suck. Um, I petted a sloth once in uh, Costa Rica. We were not supposed to. But I did. The guide was like, we're not supposed to touch these. Now, be very quiet and come pet this. And I was like, all right, sure, yes. What? Is that one you're going to do, jump at you? What? Is that one you're gonna do, jump at you? Well, he did not. He climbed up a tree fairly quickly. I mean, not like quickly, but like, I only got like maybe like two or three pets in before he was out of reach. He was not happy with me. And he also had a whole bunch of moss on his fur. So, kind of cute. Okay. Um, okay, so a Pareto chart is like a bar graph, and they always go high to low. On the side here is frequency. Down here are categories. I'm going to write pets. All right, so our highest category had four. So I'm going to put dog first. And then cat.
Then we got three one categories. And for those, it doesn't matter what order you put them in. You can either write the category right on um, the graph, or you could do the same thing that you do with a pie chart where you have like a little like, oh, dog is green and cat is dots or whatever. Okay. Are we good on these three? Um, tomorrow we're going to do scatter plots and time series charts and dot plots, which are very fast. Um, and you've got the rest of the hour to start working on this homework assignment right here. Page 62, 10 through 18 evens, 24 through 32 evens. Do you want me to look through and tell you which ones you can do so far? Right. You can do ten sixteen eighteen Six, twenty-eight, and that's it. So those are the ones, those are the five questions that you can do this evening. And only these three are actually making graphs. Um, as far as which ones need to be on graph paper, um, the only one that I would actually prefer not to be on graph paper is probably the, um, well, I guess uh, pie charts and stem and leaf plots don't need to be, but anytime you're making something that looks like a histogram, like a bar graph, I want that on graph paper. So uh, make sure that the Pareto chart is on graph paper. The rest of it can just be on regular paper, or it can all be on graph paper, your call. All right, are we good? Uh, 10, 16, 18, 26, and 28. All right, you've got the rest of the hour to work. Take your time, get it right. I'll come around and check in the homework that was due today. Hope you're doing all right, Emma.